Hello. In my video that I made recently on art supplies that I got for my birthday, I showed these Rosa Gallery watercolour pans. A few weeks ago, I bought the Rosa Gallery Romantic set of 21. And I really enjoyed the colours included in here. And it made me curious to try some further Rosa Gallery paints. I found the paints to rewet beautifully and be so pigmented and smooth. I really enjoyed using them. A lot of the paints in this set are semi-opaque or multi-pigment paints though and so I wanted to try more paints which were single pigment and transparent. I took a look at the list of paints which are in the Rosa Gallery mono pigmented set of 21 to see if it was worthwhile me buying that set. But I found that I'd already got um, a third of them in the Romantic set. So I went down the list and I basically picked out most of the paints which were transparent, had three star light fast rating and were single pigment. So the paints which I'm, I've got today to swatch out, I've got the Cadmium Lemon, which although it's not transparent, I, I am in need of a cooler yellow. I picked out the golden yellow, the flame red, the chromium oxide, which although that is opaque, I'm really interested in greens at the moment and it's a signal, single pigment. I also picked out the bright blue and that was it from the, from the rest of this mono pigmented set. In addition to single pigments from the mono pigment set though, I also got Oreo line, the quinacridone lilac, blue indanthrene, cerulean blue and royal brown, which are all mono pigments. And then I picked out the turquoise and also uh, this is black grape, which I just fancied trying. And that's opaque and it's multi-pigment. So these are the ones I'm going to be swatching today. And I want to do some mixing to see how well these Rosa Gallery paints mix in the colour wheel. I've got a spare empty tin, so I'm going to pop them in here for now. I've made a note of all the pigment information and the light fast information, which is on the stickers. So I'm just going to take the stickers completely off. I've got the names on the bottoms. Now these are slightly smaller than four pans. And here they are. I should have bought another one really. I hadn't counted them at the time when I ordered them and never mind. So this, these were never intended as a standalone palette or anything like that. I was literally just buying the ones that I was most interested in for their clarity and single pigment qualities. But they actually look quite nice. So let's swatch them out. So as with my other paint swatching, I'm using Canson XL cellulose paper and number eight silver black velvet. Uh, paintbrush. So I'm not pre wetting the paints. Well, other than this drop here, I'll just show you how well they re wet.
that's lovely. Oreo line, it's similar to Nicolazo yellow. It is the same pigment as other Nicolazo yellows that I've got. When I bring back the brush the second time, it's only ever loaded with water so that I can see how the pigmented side of the circle flows into the water side. He's wetting amazingly. So pigmented. I'm absolutely loving these so far. So this is the first of the two pigment paints which I'm showing today just because I like turquoise. And then it is only one of two opaque colours today.
Mm, I really like this brown. It kind of reminds me of like, oh, what's the name? Conacridone Burnt Scarlet, maybe. And I love that it's a transparent brown. And then this last one, Black Grape. It's multi pigment and opaque. But a couple of people mentioned really liking it. And I thought I'd give it a go. Oh, wow, that was an utterly enjoyable experience. Every single one of those re-wet beautifully and they're all just an absolute joy to paint with. These are the Rosa Gallery colours that I had in the Romantic set. So there's not a huge amount of difference. I've got PB15 for the blue and then PB15 curl on three for the bright blue. But yeah, all together that makes, that's a beautiful set. Sorry, there's the, um, that's the second page from the Romantic set. I really can't recommend these Rosa Gallery paints enough actually. I'm going to try some colour mixing in a minute. Um, I think these have dried enough to show you them close up though. Cadmium yellow, which although it's semi-opaque, it still felt really uh, bright and light to use. The Oreo line, golden yellow, flame red. I want to do some comparisons. This looks really like um, Windsor orange red shade, which is another lovely paint. Quinacridone lilac. Blue in Danthrene, Cerulean blue, bright blue, turquoise, emerald green, chromium oxide, which has got some nice granulation forming, royal brown, and black grape. So if you saw my uh, core paint review yesterday, I did a cool colour wheel and a warm colour wheel with just the three primaries just to get an idea for how the colours play with each other. So I use the cadmium lemon for the cool yellow. I'll, I'll use paints from across all of my Rosa Gallery paints. So for the cool red I'll use magenta rose. And I'm going to go with the bright blue for my cool blue. So I said, but I wouldn't expect the best orange from a cool red and a cool yellow just because there's so much blue also in that mixture. And when you've got all three primaries, primaries you end up with a brown or adding mud to your colour. Quite a nice green. Okay, and then for the warm primaries, I'll do golden yellow for the yellow. 
bright red, for the red, and ultramarine for the warm blue. Oh, that's much better orange than when I was mixing the core paints yesterday. I got similar colours for the warm yellow and the warm red, but they didn't they didn't make very good orange. They didn't mix very well this uh, triad. But I'm much happier with this one. I'll just have a go at mixing warm blue and the cool red because these make the best purples. Yeah, that's lovely. And because I'm interested in, in my natural greens at the moment, I'm just gonna try mixing the Oreo line. I'll have a go at mixing that with the ultramarine. I'm looking for some nice olives. Nice. I'm really happy with those. I think single pigment colours have got some lovely clarity to them. And I think they're really enjoyable paints. And then lastly, I'll just take, take the colours, the new colours that I've swatched out today and compare them with my current paints. So I'd say this cadmium lemon is pretty uh, comparable with the Sennelier lemon yellow. And the Oreo line, PY150. I think it's closest to the Roman Schmall Nicolazo yellow, PY150 again. The golden yellow is quite similar to Jackson's Indian yellow. And then, yeah, the flame red was, is uh, very similar to Windsor and Newton's. Windsor Orange Red Shade, and it's the same pigment, uh, PO73. The Quinacridone Lilac, it's not dissimilar from Roman Schmoll's Quinacridone Violet. Same pigment, but actually, I think it's probably most similar to Snellier's Permanent Magenta, which is PV19 as well. Now the Indanthrene Blue is quite a bit cooler than the other, well, the anthroquinone blue from M. Graham, indanthrone blue from Daniel Smith, and indanthrone blue from A. Gallo. It's definitely more of a, a yellow-green a shift to it rather than the, the red of these ones. The cerulean blue, it's most like Winsor & Newton cerulean blue red shade, though it's a little bit cooler. And then the other PP15 colon 3 that I've got is uh, Snellier's thal uh, Thalocyanine Blue and Bright Blue is, is quite similar, maybe a tiny little bit cooler and Rose's Turquoise is quite similar to, it's somewhere in between Windsor and Newton's Aqua Green which just told it's a phthalo pigment and Snellier's Thalocyanine Turquoise which is the same pigments, PB15, colon 3 and PG7. The emerald green, which is just a phthalo green blue shade, uh, PG7. That's pretty similar to Roman Schmoll's phthalo green. And it's also got a similar, it's like a microscopic kind of black separation in it. I don't have another chromium oxide. It's probably most similar to the Roman Schmoll Malachite, just a stronger, kind of higher pigmented load version. 
I'm really happy with it. It's, that's going to be great. Then the Royal Brown. It was actually this Daniel Smith's Quinacridone Burnt Scarlet that it reminded me of. But it's a little bit cooler than that. I don't have anything totally like it. And then finally the Black Grape. I'd say it's closest to Sennelier's neutral tint. They've both got that um, kind of violet warmth to them. So yeah, overall, I'm super happy with these individual Rosa Gallery pans. I don't really have anything negative to say about them at all. They're also a great price. I bought these from Cult Pens, I think, and I'm pretty sure they were about £2.35. I'll correct it if I'm, if I'm wrong. I hope that was useful anyway. And I'm sure these will be featuring again in my future videos quite a bit. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.